This is Chicago's very own WGN Morning News at 6. Bullying is not just for children. A new study shows that one in four people have had experiences with abusive conduct at work. And almost three out of four people say they are aware of workplace bullying. Dr. Aaron Leonard is the author of Emotional Terrorism, Breaking the Chains of a Toxic Relationship. And she's here to talk about it. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So I think this term bullying is used a lot more now. Is there a difference between someone who's really a bully or just a jerk? Yes, absolutely. Um, a bully usually has an agenda and a target. So usually they handpick an individual who they um, consistently and deliberately seek out to um, harass or attack, um, sometimes personally. Is this is someone who wants your job or what would the motivation be yes. as an adult? I can't imagine what your motivation would be. Sure. It's someone who's deeply and profoundly insecure and who is threatened by another who has an admirable quality that they might not embody. Um, so definitely it's fueled by insecurity and sometimes an undiagnosed personality disorder. So it could be personality driven or it could be that person's one step above me on the food chain and I want to surpass that. Absolutely. I take them down. Okay. Mm. When you say undiagnosed mm -hmm. personality disorder like what, what, what might that um, be? Personality disorders are usually characterized by um, five um, attributes. Um, usually someone lacks introspection, um, personal accountability, tends to externalize blame. So for example, you know, nothing is really their fault. They, they um, see other people as the problem. Yeah. Um, they play the victim quite a bit. They're often passive aggressive, which makes them vindictive in nature, which can be um, yeah. toxic. So what do you do? I mean, it do you tell the boss? Is that, I mean, what, what's going to stop it? Sure. I think the most important thing is for people to understand the psychology of a bully um, and also understand the psychological dynamic behind um, toxic relationships, um, which is what my book articulates in great detail. But um, when, when, um, a target or a recipient or a victim understands the, the psychology of the bully, they're able to really identify that the issue is stemming from the bully um, instead of allowing the bully to exploit the insecurities within them they are really clear that th these are the bullies insecurities and the bullies issues and they are um, the target and the recipient so you might understand them but how do you stop it what, what do you do yes of course um, an important thing to do by understanding the dynamic um, you're able to take it less personally when you are taking things less personally you have a much calmer more professional response so you're able to regulate your affect a little bit better. Um, a bully's main goal is to evoke emotion in, in their target. So um, evo press the, press the um, target's buttons, antagonize the target so they get an emotional response. Then they can then point the finger at the target and say, look, you are emotional, you're unstable, you're unprofessional, and everything I've said about you behind your back is now coming to light. So the, the, the bully really sets up the target to kind of have an emotional response. If the target can regulate and maintain their composure and not show um, that it's affecting them, they're much more able to deflect the bully's attempts. Okay, so you can react, just don't fly off the handle. and, and Exactly. And up, because I, I have found anyway that bully, they. They're the first ones to back down when you confront them. Yes. Because they're looking for the for the easy target. Yes. Is that as long as the response is not emotional, it's professional and confident, assertive, the bully usually will back down. Now, how important is it for you to document these incidents yourself? Do you have to run up to HR every time something happens, or can you just document the, them? to document the cases yourself and then bring them all forward? Um, absolutely. What will happen when the bully finds out that they're not able to get a rise out of their target, they will up the ante. And when they up the ante, they often act unprofessionally and malicious. And at that point, the target is then able to document and list all the interactions and all the unprofessional behaviors that the bully has done. Once they've accrued a list and, and a solid presentation, they can go to HR and get help. All right, where is you? You're having a book signing aren't you? Yes. Where is that going to be? Tomorrow night at 7 o'clock, um, Barnes & Nobles on Webster and Clybourne. And you talk in this book more than just about workplace bullying. It's about all kinds of toxic relationships, it's right? Toxic relationships in just about every capacity, interpersonal, um, professional, parent-child, friendships, groups. All yep. right, great. Dr. Erin Leonard, thanks so much for being here. Yes, thank you.